Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to add your Hikvision NVR to your mobile device for the first time, allowing you to access your system remotely. First thing you'll need to do is download the Hikvision app, which is called HitConnect. Just looks like this one, I already have it downloaded, but once that downloads you can go ahead and open it up. Um, from here you'll be prompted to register for an account. I've already created one, so the prompt isn't here, but you will need to create an account to add your device to your phone. So you just need to go ahead and press register and then go through the prompts. And once your account is created, you'll be able to add your device to your phone. Um, you can do this by hitting the plus icon in the top right of your screen. And this will bring up a number of options. The easiest one would be to scan QR code. Uh, every Hikvision NVR has a QR code stickered on the bottom of the case. I just want to go ahead and press that. And I'll be able to scan that. Once you see this page, we can give the device a name. Call it Office NVR. Once you're happy with the name, you can hit next. You can skip this, and your device has been added. We can see the uh, screenshots of each camera in the home screen. We're going to show you how to share your Hikvision device with someone on the HitConnect app. Um, it's important to note only the original user who added the device first can do this. Anyone who has gained access to the device via sharing will not be able to share the device further. Um, so first thing you want to do is open up your HitConnect app and hit Applications just in the bottom of the screen there in the middle. And you just want to go to sharing. If you haven't shared anything, you won't see any, any devices here. So you just want to hit share device at the bottom. And go share with user. On this page, um, you'll get three options to share the device. Um, if you have the recipient's phone handy or they're standing right next to you, you can use one of the QR code options. Um, you can press share via QR code and then select your device. If you only want them to access certain cameras, if you're sharing an NVR, you can hit the down arrow here and select which cameras you want them to access. Once you're happy with that, you can press next. This will just confirm what they're gaining access to. Hit OK, and then this will generate a QR code for them to scan on their phone. The second QR code will be scanning their account's QR code, which they can find by pressing me and hitting the QR code in the top right corner, and then pressing my QR code. So if they have this on their phone, you'll be able to go into sharing, applications, sharing, share device, share with user, scan QR code. That'll bring up your camera and you'll be able to scan that QR code and follow the prompts to share your device. Otherwise, if they're not in the area, you'll be able to just use their account email or phone number just by putting it in up here. I'll use my co-workers. And then here you can give them a remark so you can put their name in. And then you just want to hit save in the top right. 
and go next. Select your device, hit next. Once you're happy with the permissions, press OK. And then that device will be shared and sending them a push notification to accept the uh, uh, sharing of the device. Once you've shared a device with a user, you can easily change their permissions or remove them entirely by just going back into applications and then sharing. This will bring up the devices you've shared with the accounts. Um, so you can see here the email address I put in before and then the NVR that I shared with them just underneath in the gray, gray font. Um, I can click onto that and then I can change their permissions. So if I don't want them accessing, accessing playback on a certain camera, I can click on that camera and remove the playback and then hit save. Now they'll only be able to access the playback on the two down cameras. If I want to remove them entirely, you just go to the bottom of the screen and hit delete. And that has removed them entirely from the system.